Hi everybody, today I'm going to give a Final Cut Express tutorial on a realistic muzzle flare. Now what I'm doing is here, if I'm re-editing a video I made called Chase, if you haven't seen it, go check it out, click the link in the um, description. So what I'm doing is, apart from my detonation films, just like regular um, my smoky muzzle flashes, I decided to make it more realistic and bring it up to this. So I have lighting up on my friend's face, on his stomach, I better turn that up a little bit and on his hands, and an elliptical thing in the background, my flare, puff of smoke, and I'm actually I'm using, as you can see here, some Black Ops gun sounds, because I searched for a while, and here's what three of the four that I have here look like. I'm just going to show you how I do the last one. So as you can see, they look pretty realistic, and I'll show you step by step how to do them. Now this involves a lot of video tracks, as you may have guessed, a lot of audio tracks, Here's just my music down there. Um, so I'm going to start out by holding down Shift and Option and duplicating the one frame that I chose. I mean, when I first set my in and out points, um, I had the clip stop right before I had my, fr my frame that I chose to do all the crap to. So I'm going to duplicate that and oops, put, put it above the current layer four times. What am I doing? and just quickly render that so I'm not getting a lot of crap. And um, now here's where the trickiness comes in. Now I'm going to stop the recording in a moment um, so you can so you won't have to sit through so long. So what you're going to do here, and th now this is the lighting, so you're going to go to video filters, mat, and 8 point garbage mat. I'm just going to uncheck that real quick. This is the mat that you're going to use to like mask out just his face. And since add, which is the composite mode I can change it to to make it really bright, like that's it. It just seems a bit too bright, so all I do is I um, I go to image control and just turn up the brightness to like 1.25 or 1.5, 1.50. I don't know. That's what I normally do, but I'm just going to show you how to ma that how I usually mask out his face because I've done this three times in a row, as you can see here, because he's in almost the exact same position the entire time. I usually also hide the labels because I've been working on these flares for the entire weekend, not just these, I mean trying to get a good flare going, a good flare type. I was working on just lighting, using my smoky flash move movie, like the smoky muzzle flash from Detonation Films, and just lighting up the area. I mean, I, I, when I was first editing this video, I did that for all four of these, um, all four of the um, flares here. Like, I just had the illumination exactly where they told me to put it, well, where my tutorial person told me to put it, and in the end, it just really didn't look good, because it just isn't really bright. Okay, so we have our area masked out. You're going to go to, like, f settings here and go to feather and pump that up to 100%, so it's not very, like, really sharp. And then, um, what I normally do is I use brightness instead of add, but you're welcome to use add. Brightness just makes it look a bit less bright. And that's usually useful in most situations. So you want to change this to 1.25. And as you can see, it got a bit brighter. And that looks pretty good. So I'm just going to do that to the other four, other three areas, which are his hands, a bit of his hands, and his body. Well, <laughs> that's two. So what I'm going to do is render that, and you'll see how that looks. And now I'm going to stop the recording and come back when I'm done with all that. See you later. Okay, we're back. Now, um, ScreenFlow decided to be a dick to me, and after I recorded my second part of footage, it made everything lag. So I'm going to have to do some of this again. Now, as you can see, this is after I did all the stuff. So um, I've already put in my muzzle flare and smoke puff, so I'm just going to delete that. It never happened. Okay? Never happened. So we're going to go back from where we started before. At the elliptical mask. Now this, what I did was, um, I'm going to turn all this off. So I had the composite mode to add instead of turning up the brightness, because if you turn up the brightness, it just really isn't bright enough in the end. So um, when I turned the, um, I had the max mask shape as oval, and I scaled the horizontal and vertical scale from 50 down to 30, because, well, from the angle that 
from the distance away that it was filming, the muzzle flare was going to be about the size that you saw it be before. And, yeah, and you don't actually have a feather bar or slider in the mask shape tab, so you just go to effects, video filters, mat, and mask feather. That's what's right here. So I'm just going to turn that on, and now it's nice and feathery. That sounds disgusting. So that's rendered. And now we're going to move on. Uh, let's do the smoke. Um, now the smoke puff. Uh, if you don't know, this is just a video I got off YouTube called Smoke Puff of Stock Footage. Um, it actually does have some background music. I think I just farted. <laughs> so um, I'm going to blob that in here. And um, now... Oh my god. Um, just like I did before, just hold down Option, click this, and delete it. So now you don't have some weird techno music playing in the background. <sighs> so... Turn that to screen, and since we have three layer, four layers of lighty, masky stuff, it's really laggy when I'm trying to position this in front of all the layers. So I'm going to go to the layer right after that. Now I'm getting a bit of a bug where the first frame la of the clip lasts for three frames, and it's like only for this clip. So I'm just going to cut out the first three. Um, so that looks about good. So I'm going to render that. This will only take a moment. And then we're going to do the two grand finales. Three. Um, now. First, we're going to do the flare. Now, um, the last thing I did for the last three is um, I just had this and then I copied and pasted it for the other two. But for the sake of this video, for you, the viewers, I'm going to actually put it in. So, modify and change that to screen. I'm trying to do this as quickly as I can. Yeah, and it still lags, so I'm actually going to stretch it out a little bit so I can work with it outside all that other crap. Um, uh, it's a bit too big. Um, now I'm going to compare that to a couple of others. It's a bit too small. I'm going to go back and scale that up a tiny bit. That looks good. Pow. It's not going to actually last that long. So I'm comparing it to others. They look pretty pretty good. So I'm going to make that back there so it's back at one frame, because if it's more than one frame, it's not going to be real. So as you can see, um, in the other ones, it, the, um, the lighting up, like I turned down my volume, actually fades out over a course of four frames. I, I mean, just look at this. It doesn't look good if it's like that. I mean, just like that. It's just crap. So, um, to find this four frame part, you're going to want to, from the start of all this, just type, pr press your right arrow key four times. One, two, three, four. And just stretch all your clips so they are, um, I'm moving the clip, not stretching it. So they're like that. Then you're going to want like, select the end of it and press Command T. This will apply, if, for those of you who are new to Final Cut, it will apply the default transition, which is a cross dissolve. And if it's cross-dissolving into nothing, it looks like it's fading out. So after that gets rendered, we're going to check it out. And that looks pretty good. Except the flare's a bit too small still. So I'm going to make that a bit bigger. Ah, I keep selecting the wrong thing. there. Render. Now here's the grand finale, the gun sound effect. So, to make sure, like, when I put stuff in, I'm making sure that it doesn't corrupt any other audio, like my music. So I'm going to hold down Option and delete that, and then pull this back up to the top. Um, quickly shorten this about one frame. I'm actually also going to make it a bit louder. So where I got this is just 
um, YouTube search Black Ops All Weapon Sounds. And I'm going to render that, and here is the finished product. Okay, so that's the product. You saw it once. You saw it twice. You saw all four of them. So that looks really great. Ha ha ha, yay. So, um, that is how you do a muzzle flare in Final Cut Express, and it looks really great. Bye. Well, not bye yet. Well, I hope that this video helped you, of course. He's running in front of smoke, even though he is in front of it, yeah. Anyway, um, screw that. So yeah, bye. I hope this tutorial helped. Goodbye. Goodbye. Bye.